So Sligo Creek Golf Course in Silver Spring, Maryland is where we're going to be playing today. I recently got back into golf and my clubs are very old. I got them back in high school in 1988. But can they still break 100? Well, let's find out if we can get halfway there on Sligo's nine-hole course. 49 is our goal. Right down the middle. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, now we got a six iron um, on the approach. And I don't hit my clubs very far. So six for me, it goes around 120 yards, something like that normally. I swing pretty slowly, so. Almost makes green, not quite, but we're getting there. Moving forward, going to the pin. <laughs> So this is a uh, 56 that I'm using to get up onto the green here, hopefully. Uh, and almost get to the green, <laughs> onto the fringe. So let's get the putter out, just do a lag putt, easy peasy, get out of here with a good score. So here we go. And off the screen. <laughs> I'm not still not totally sure. Uh, you're not comfortable, rather, with how to do all my camera work. So this next putt comes out of nowhere uh, and doesn't make it to the hole. But we finally have enough to tap it in. So there we go. On to number two, par three. Using my six iron here again. The distance is good, but it turns a little bit right at the end, so a little bit off the green. Should be super easy chip with my 56. Sand wedge, not a problem. Nah, it's a problem. All the way over the other side of the green. <laughs> I, I seem to make a habit of making easy shots the card. So really long putt here for par. This is actually off of the fringe. You can't really see it, but uh, one of the things that I'm going to be working on this year is is getting these lag putts where it gets much, much closer to the hole. Uh, I lose a lot of shots that way, and, and you'll see how, how this thing kind of works its way past the camera. And there it goes. So here we are at the bogey putt. Pretty long one. Obviously that leaf is the, the real problem here. I have been taking time to line things up and try to, to really work on looking at that break. Um, but you gotta hit it, especially coming back on those uphills. That's the putt I wanted to get the first time. And finally in the hole. Work on the putting game. So this is what makes golf so hard for me is that I know exactly what shots I want to take and what I should take. I just can't execute it. Just much more practice is needed. Frustrating, but you know, you get there, it's fun. Okay, lining it up. 
One of the good things is uh, my driver, because it's old, it's smaller, so there's very much less of a tendency to go really far and then have lots of slices that happen. So I've been pretty good at getting it right down the middle of the fairway, and that's what I do here. It goes, it goes straight, yeah, straight down, down there. Fairway. Every once in a while I get a little bit of a fade, but um, usually pretty straight, straight down the gut. These are where I have the problems. It's the approach shots for sure, um, and something that I'll be really working on. Uh, I did a swing tweaks and got some of the tips from that, uh, so I'm gonna be working on that as we go forward. So it didn't quite make the green. Uh, again, one of the big things that I have to do is really get my distances down on my irons. <laughs> that wasn't the best shot ever, and it goes all the way past. Again, this is where I drop all these crazy shots. It's wild. So a little chip with the sand patch. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. It's on the green. Putable. And that putt wasn't caught on camera because I messed up <laughs> the filming. All right, this is not going to plan. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day. And honestly, I think I'm playing a little worse because I'm recording. Uh, this, you know, I've never done this before, so it kind of puts you in the spotlight a little bit. So this next hole is going to be the first of the real challenge holes for me. I have problems with golf courses with the word creek in the name. So let's see what happens here. 150 yards. Let's do it. So I was trying to lay up here. I'm, I was really, you know, freaked out by the the creek down there, and you know, I just wanted to lay up so that I could get an easy shot across the creek. Yeah, that didn't work out. Still went in the creek. <laughs> So that's what I should have done the first time. On the green, looking good. Hey look, you can't get mad at this stuff. It's a game, we're out here on a really nice day. Just enjoy it, right? Well, <laughs> oh, this is crazy, man. This game will destroy your psyche. What can I tell you? But it's still super fun. That's what's so weird about it. I don't, I don't get why I like it so much. Someday I'll get better. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> this is what I like. Big, wide, long fairways that I have no chance of getting in the water. And again, right down the middle, love it. Keep pushing those off to the right. The distance was all right, though, on that, so okay, got, got pretty close. So 
I switched out here from the chipping wedge, or the, excuse me, the uh, sand wedge to the putter. A little bit of a Texas wedge special. And that was the right choice. I mean, this was probably my best chip onto the green all day, and I did it with the putter. So, you know, I like that. Lovely shot of the beltway in the background there. That's the thing about playing early in the year on, at Sligo. You can see all the cars on the beltway easily. So lining this up carefully, let's see what we can do here. Didn't hit it. I left so many putts short today. We'll not make that mistake again next time. And this golf course looks good. They did a good job on this on the off season. crap out of my hand on the tripod. Not good. All right, now there's a big creek down at the bottom there, and I hit <laughs> the best driver that I've hit okay, in a long so time. Let's see if I'm driver on this, because I don't hit my driver as far. That's why I play from the red tees. And I thought it went in the water, but I'm hoping that this slight sliver of white is my ball up here. Let's <laughs> oh my god, I think it is. Fantastic. Yes. Right in the fairway, baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. Easy over, easy over. <laughs> Don't hit it in the water. <laughs> Ridiculous. And straight at it. <laughs> but I did make it over, barely. It was so close though, that I couldn't even set up the tripod. Easy chip onto the green. Come on, let's do this. Straight off to the side. Straight off. That is my problem. There you go. That's my problem. Chunking that ground. You can even see on my warm up, I'm chunking. This is something I got to work on. But this chip turned out pretty well. And I did replace that divot. Not a bad putt. I'm actually pretty pleased with that one. Let's see if I can make the, the comeback. Should be easy, but this is golf. And I made it. Fantastic. Two putts. Love it. Got to take the little wins. Straight down the middle. I'm telling you, this this was the best part of my game, and it's not even close. Drives are pretty good today. As you can see, the grass is still coming in a little bit. I mean, it's it is the first day of of the season, so got a little bit to fill in here. But the course I thought was in really good shape today.
So I keep leaving things a little bit short. Um, I think I'm honestly afraid of hitting it and flying the green, and so I don't swing hard enough. This one I, was a little different because I used the, um, the hybrid to just bump it up there, and that worked out pretty well for this. Again, just using the putter to, to do that Texas wedge action. It started to break a little bit, but I just didn't hit it hard enough. So the wind moved that ball, <laughs> so I replaced. All right, those are the ones you're supposed to make. So this fairway is a little weird. It's a little bit blind because you're going over this hill. But I hit it pretty well here. Looks like it's going straight down the fairway. So yet again, drive, not bad. It's all those other shots. Should have done it. Did the swing tweaks thing. And to be fair, not really focusing on what the dude told me for most of this round. It'll take some time to get out there and really screw around with that. But yeah, learning process. Here we go, we're gonna finish strong, finish strong. Strong. Okay, that was close. <laughs> I'd hit the fairway perfectly, I thought, and just bounced all the way over here. So I gotta get over this stupid creek again. Let's see if I can do it this time. All right, so now another easy approach to this green, right? Let's get this let's get this up and down. Come on. Chunk. bit much past past the back side of the green if you can relate to this please subscribe to the channel appreciate it <laughs> we can commiserate together So I actually have been practicing putts from this aim, from this range. And it's paying off. That's the best play of the day. Best play of the day. And you got to love it. These are the shots that keep you coming back to this That's game. what I'm talking about. All right. Super pleased with that putt. That was awesome. Need to do more of that. And also, <laughs> the Texas Wedge works. What can I tell you? 
So we're at the at the tee box for nine here at Sligo. And the creek kind of comes into this big lake. It's uh, it's right here, hang on. So there's the water, and I won't be hitting over that water because I play the red tees, because I'm not good enough to play the other tees, and I have no problems with that whatsoever. All right, you love to see it. Thank you, Montgomery County. Good job. All right, last hole of the day. Let's get a good drive here. Good drive. You got to take the positives. And my positives today were really good drives all day long. Just missed the fairway barely, but um, still very doable shot using the hybrid here. And that wasn't what I meant to do. <laughs> but it went forward. Got closer to the green. So that chip turned out to be pretty good, actually. Be able to grab the putter again. I don't think these actually count as your number of putts because they're right off of the green, but I was pretty pleased with that putt, honestly. That was from pretty far away. Can I get this in? Last shot. No. <laughs> I don't keep track of my score as I go because I don't want to freak myself out. But I had a couple too many tough holes this, this round to make it to my 49. Okay, so I didn't make my 49, which is what I was trying for. I, mean, I struggle to break 100, so that's my goal for this year is to get down where I'm in the 90s all the time or the under, under 49s all the time. But in any event, um, I did have some positives today, though. I got most of my drives went in the fairway, which is fantastic. I only lost one ball. It was a, a stupid creek, but that's okay. only lost one, and I found three. So, and they were better balls than the one I lost. So that's good. Um, and you know, the, the, the big thing is, uh, I got better as the round progressed and I didn't have any eights. There were zero eights on this entire thing. Um, which is, you know, that's one of the things I've been working on is getting rid of those big snowman blow up holes. So look, not great, but for me, I had some positives out of there and look, look at this. I'm not working today. This is beautiful out here. Fantastic. You can't beat it. All right. Bye. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell.